looking right now, we're seeing Aegis versus Min Min. And I, I love, I don't know why I love the skin. This skin is like so, like, it's the black for me. Black is like such a good color. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like you can never go wrong with that color because it just looks good on everybody. Yeah, it's like, a very uh, complimentary. Uh, I think it's neutral color. Is, yes. That's what it's called. But it's for sure. But I definitely love the way that Frozen already is playing around the buzz right now. The buzz just saying, you know, you can stop moving with that up smash right there. That was very nice, but not gonna get that punish on the grab right there. And Frozen is just having such a good time playing, you know, in neutral right now. Like getting that nice up B and just trying to stop, you know, the buzz from actually getting back to the stage. Very nice. Playing this matchup as you should. And we're just kind of seeing, you know, the buzz struggle a little bit. Like, you know, normally the buzz has the answers, but I feel like, you know, Honestly, Once Tyra is in, you know, the range, it's just like, what do you do now? Honestly, I feel like this might be uh, a not so favorable matchup for Min Min, because one of the big things about Min Min, of course, is that up close, her options are a little bit limited. You know, her nair is good, uh, her down tilt is good, her up smash up shield is good, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but that nair is still a relatively slower move, doesn't really get you a whole lot on that one. Uh, Mithra could get in your face extremely quick. And she can go off stage and be very expressive with that, uh, which mm -hmm. is something that Min Min does not like. Min Min likes it when the opponent respects her, lets her get back to stage, and lets her keep playing neutral when she dominates. But uh, this is looking still relatively even on this one, but it feels like Frozen has had the momentum in the game. That was a very nice up smash out of Shield. The buzz reacted perfectly to that jab on Shield right there, which actually could have ended in a very, very bad time, and still trying to use um, Megawatt, is it called? Um, megawatt, kilowatt, something like that, yes. But actually, megawatt. actually uses uh, it right there, sends it out, and then jumps just towards the end of the active frames to catch a jump a little bit. Very nice option from the buzz on that one. Uh, City actually had to start lead, despite a little bit of a rocky start on the uh, first stop. Yes, it's looking like, you know, as much as, you know, Frozen has been, you know, in, you know, in control of this whole match, she just hasn't been able to find this stock just yet. And that, ooh, that nice foresight, not gonna take that stock, yep. but it, the thought was there, and now it's looking like she's trying to make it so that the buzz is is having some fear right now. Yep, it was uh, actually really smart on that one. So she did get in with the foresight, but because of the uh, reactable slowdown on that one, the buzz jumped during the move, and Min Min is able to do that with her tilts. So uh, able to get out of the way of a punish. All right, yeah, that won't kill. Oh, <laughs> Fire's jab scary. is real, real heavy hit. Absolutely, and we're just seeing that the buzz neutral already. The buzz, you know, has to stop lead right now, and ooh, the foresight not going to do too much with it yet. But it's looking like, you know, the buzz has seen this before. I don't know where, but he's seen this before, and he just knows exactly. That's kind of what you know. Frozen has been looking for. Yep, and that looked like a rough situation on that one. I think on reaction, that would have been able to cover pretty much any option that uh, charge forward smash. That was a very nice um, turnaround grab into a B, but not really gonna do too much with it. It was cool for the moment, you know, it was just there. Harassing okay. a little bit with Ram Ram there, and Ram Ram is good at holding people down to the ground with the anti-air hitbox on that. Okay, we're just trying to get some more of that ledge trapping in, and I feel like this is exactly where we've been seeing Frozen at her peak, but she hasn't been able to get a kill off of it, and I think she's still learning, like, especially since, like, you know, this is the first game, you know, have a few more sets to, or a few more games to go, sorry, but that's absolutely for sure, getting that down smash to get up safely. Is that up smash going to take it? Not just entirely yet. Up but smash, actually a good call there, not only for the anti-air, but also for the potential roll-in on that one. Min Min's do not like being in the corner like that. Oh, for sure. And that Megawatt is going to hit. But we're looking a little scared. What's going on? Megawatt in there on that one, a very powerful move and quite active. Ooh. I was about to say, uh, that was not Megawatt. Oh, no jump. That's it. She's dead. Yeah. For sure, that was very nice. It was looking very rocky for the buzz, but he was just like, you know, I still got this. You know, like I may have been having a hard time, but you know, wasn't able to actually get the kill off, and that just all was written, all that was left, all that was told. I, I feel like uh, seeing the progression of this match between how it started and how it ended was a very good uh, demonstration of like, literally, Mithra mm -hmm. getting in 
uh, Min Min's face and then just, uh, no, sorry, please stay away. And then just the <laughs> arms keep extending and keep pushing her away. So we saw that dominant, like the first 30 seconds of that one. That mm -hmm. seemed like, even though Frozen, she was still taking some hits left and right on that one. She had all the momentum and then DeBuzz just kept slowing it down. And then it was more difficult to get in. Um, more play from far away on that one. More having to sweat it out in neutral. And Min Min makes neutral hard for even the best of them. And even then, like, the thing is, is that, like, every time she was off stage, she just always had a hard time getting back to stage because that's how, you know, the Aegis Recoveries are. It's very hard to get back to stage with this character. So maybe that's just something that we have to kind of pray for the best, that she doesn't actually end up, you know, off stage again. That being said, uh, Min Min also does suffer a little bit in the offstage, and we are seeing that with these Chromadust chases from Frozen. She has been taking advantage of that to get some extra damage in on here. Ooh. Uh, oh, Ooh. no, no jump? Yeah. Yep. Just another one of the situations. The Buzz knows this, too. He knows that he needs to take off, you know, the stocks through edge guards. That's pretty much the best way to actually get rid of this so that he doesn't have to spend too much time being in disadvantage. He wants to win that neutral. He wants to get, you know, Frozen off stage and then just end the stock. And that's looking like what we have to see right here. Trying to get back to more of a comfortable position at center stage. But that um, Blazing Edge is what she called it. Uh, is blazing going to Edge or End? I'm not sure. Either way, it just kind of controlled a little bit of that situation right there. But this is where the buzz is. The buzz is controlling this center stage pretty well. And almost about to lap Frozen in percents uh, at 72, 81, 10 more percent. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's looking like a rough situation on here. And you'll see a lot of the buzz getting away and then just sort of sneaking oh. past Frozen. Uh, taking back the stage again. And that's such uh, a drain on the mental meter as well. When you get this zoner cornered and then you've got to corner him all over again because Min Min does have that ability to move around while zoning you with the Dalsum normals. Absolutely, for sure. And Frozen is just having such a hard time trying to get back onto stage. The buzz has been super on point with these lead traps as soon as he like understood that first game. It's just wow. And the up smash too. But then again, too, here's also a thing. I feel like the buzz has kind of caught on to, you know, Frozen's, uh, like, kind of rhythm that she was not having going on, just immediately choosing options, just wanting to get back to center stage because she knows how, like, how bad it could be for her if she stays off stage. I think that was a fudge checkmate scenario there. I think if that had been spaced Ooh. a little bit further out, that, um... Not that killing off the top, and she knew it, too. That's so crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that tech chase there, I think that was timed just a little too early, but that if, uh, if that had been later, that would have caught, I think, pretty much everything because of how uh, Kilowatt moves just a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. But this was a good chase as well, especially because you're not gonna, it's like, oh, it's Min Min. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, right? She's gonna stay on the stage. It's like, uh, if you got two stocks up, maybe not. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, but for sure, that was an amazing game. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was honestly really interesting to see how DeBuzz played the matchup out on that. On what again, mm -hmm. like first going in, I figured, you know, this would probably be kind of rough against Aegis, I would imagine.